This is the Jackery 160 and a Believe 50 watt solar panel. I wanted to see if I could get two of the most highly rated and least expensive solar generators and solar charger packages on Amazon, and we're going to see if they will work together. I do not think that this is endorsed or connected in any way to a certain pop star, but hey, you never know. So let's see what we get inside. Ah. We have uh, some uh, connectors, and we have the uh, solar controller, and we have the panels. Anything else in there? No, that's it. Let's take a look at these panels. Let's see this pouch. We have yeah, connector cable, which is attached inside this pocket. So I'm guessing you would. Um, store your extra accessories in here, and the panel itself folds in three parts. Now this also is supposed to come with a kickstand, and it does. So, um, kickstand's a little flimsy and light, but I, I mean it is functional, but um, yeah, it's very minimalistic. Let's see, does it actually work? Oh, there's one on either side. And yes, it does do that. So let's uh, connect this and see what we can see. It's got, um, just to make sure that you are putting correctly to the input and output, uh, they have diagrams on the solar controller, um, some little icon that kind of looks like solar panels and uh, a battery icon and a lighting icon. So you can attach those. Uh, your, directly to uh, your lighting equipment there. All right, this is an unboxing of the Jackery 160 uh, Explorer 160, which I got on Amazon during uh, the Prime Day deal. And we're gonna see what you get inside the box. Okay, what do we get? We get a bag. And we have the unit and instruction manual, a card, warranty, some padding. Let's see what we get inside the bag here. Oh, well, we get a brick, a power brick, uh, an AC adapter brick, and we get a car charging. Cord. And we have uh, the Jackery uh, solar generator itself. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. So that's what you get. All right, so we got all the stuff unboxed, and uh, the whole point of this exercise was to find the least expensive way to uh, have a backup solar generator for emergencies and a solar charger. Uh, and this was the least expensive solar charger available at Amazon at the time. Uh, that was of high quality, of the sort of uh, um, the monocrystalline um, panel type. But what I quickly found out was that all the connections in and out of uh, the the Belieb were these 50 amp Anderson connectors, and all the connectors and chargers that go into the Jackery are. 8 millimeter, or actually more correctly, 7.9 millimeter, but you'll often see this listed as, as 8 millimeter. These 8 millimeter jacks. So, how do you connect the Believe to the uh, Jackery? Well, you have to create your own connection or, or purchase one. So, um, I looked around, and I actually did find, I uh, was able to find a Anderson to um, Eight millimeter connector. So all what you need to do is um, connect your power out cable, your power either your power cable that would have gone to your solar controller, which you don't really need to to charge your Jackery because the Jackery has its own built-in one. So you connect this this connector to the Jackery and. 
Yep, it's going. Well, it's not really because we're in shade, so this is like not even enough of a of a current to make a charge, but enough of a current to actually act, to activate the electronics on here. So we know that we, we are getting some juice. Okay, so this is how you connect your believer to the Jackery using the Lenovo, uh, the Lenovo replacement cable. What you want to do is look at your solar controller here, and it has a couple of different icons. One is a set of uh, solar panels, one is a battery, and one is a light bulb. Uh, these two are basically um, uh, we won't be using. This is uh, the, the line to the battery to both charge and also to get power to run the controller. And this is uh, for your outlets to go out to power lights of it, or other appliances uh, or just general power out. And this is the power in from the solar panel. So what you want to do is just be mindful here that the left the left screw, the left contract is positive, the right is negative, and in Belieber's color scheme they're using blue wiring for negative and brown for positive. I don't know why they chose those colors. Um, and the colors for your Lenovo cable are going to be white and black, and as a general rule, black or whatever is the darkest color tends to be negative, and the lightest color or red tends to be positive. So what you want to do is loosen this up. Loosen this contact up, uh, just enough to get room to put those smaller wires in. And you just want to be mindful that you don't accidentally pull out um, this Anderson cable, which, like I just did right now to illustrate, uh, but you don't want those to, to fall out. So you want to connect uh, positive, which is white, in with a brown, and blue, black with a blue, so black and blue, just think of that. And it's all little tricky, but just keep them in together, the black and blue wires together, the white and brown, and cinch that down so it doesn't pop out. And that will provide a connection, um, this will pr provide a sort of bridge between the solar panel, the controller, and the other end, which is a 8 millimeter jack. So let's try this out. We're going to connect our Believer solar panel in to the controller. Now the controller won't be lighting up because this actually needs to be connected to a battery source to to light up. Uh, oddly enough, this got loose, so I'm gonna just cinch that back in. Screw that back in. So I don't accidentally lose it. All right, so our Lenovo cable will plug into the Jackery, like so. And not a lot of power, but enough to actually have it light up, as you can see here. Um, again, we are in shade, so we're not getting very much electricity through these panels right now. But it's enough that um, the Jackery knows that it's getting power in. So um, that confirms that we are getting power. And if I got this into direct sunlight, uh, we'd actually be getting some, uh, some wattage in. But that just shows you how you can use uh, this uh, inexpensive um, Lenovo re replacement cable uh, and use your controller that comes with the Believer as a bridge. And I realize now that it wasn't charging yesterday not just because we were in shade but also because the unit was at 100% uh, fully charged so the controller on the Jackery wasn't allowing uh, more power to come in because there wasn't any room. In any case, I discharged the unit last night charging some other emergency batteries. So starting off with about 40% this morning, I've got it up to 44% in a little over uh, an hour here. I'm getting about 11 to 14 watts uh, through the uh, Believes um, solar charger bridge setup that I, I connected. And we are indoors because we are in the middle of a winter storm here in Northern California. But we've got a few hours hopefully of uh, direct sunlight, if perhaps even just minutes, but hopefully we'll get enough of a charge to get this uh, closer back to 100%. A few days ago when it was sunny and I was testing out this setup, I was able to recharge this Jackery in a little over three hours. Unfortunately, I wasn't videotaping at the time, so you're just going to have to believe me. Dad jokes aside, if you're interested in picking up the Jackery or the Believe panel, I'll include Amazon links in my description. And if this review was helpful, aside from the puns, um, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Moondog out. <laughs>